What's up, everyone? Welcome back to CNC Auto Works. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, I'm going to go over something that I get asked frequently, and that's uh, how to set your valves. Uh, this is a hydraulic cam, a hydraulic flat tappet to be exact. If you got a solid roller or solid flat tappet, uh, it's a totally different deal. You got to use uh, filler gauges. But with it being hydraulic, I'm going to go over how to do it, maybe with it in the vehicle, and then how to do it if uh, you're in your driveway building uh, something for yourself, or maybe you put a cam in yourself, or put some new heads, and you're just not real sure. The guys that have done this before and know what they're doing, they're going to think I'm crazy, and that I've had a stroke or something, but I'm going to try to explain this as basic as I can to where you know your weekend warrior can understand what's going on so I'm gonna go over with it in the vehicle and you're just getting a bunch of chatter a bunch of noise everything's all together you're just getting a lot of noise no there's two ways to adjust your valve one you can do it just fire it up bring it up to temp and then shut it off and then uh, you're going to want to make sure that your lifter is all the way down in the bore and by that I mean make sure that the cam load is not coming up to the lifter make sure it's completely all the way down you guys that have done this before y'all know what cylinders what and to each its own yada yada but Make sure that your lifter's already down in the bore. Your lifters are going to be pumped up already because it's been running. And one way to do it is with it off and your lifter all the way down in the bore. You're going to want to spin your push rod and tighten your nut. You'll have a 5 8 nut if everything's completely stopped. You spin your push rod and tighten that nut until you feel a little resistance. And then once you feel a little resistance, what I do is I go ahead and turn it a half a turn to preload the lifter. Then you just go around and do the same thing. And as you go through them, you're going to have to bump the engine over to make sure your lifter's all the way down in the bore. And if you do this without having the lifter all the way in the bore, it's going to cause you more problems, possibly bent valves, and it's going to be a wreck. And another way to do it in a vehicle is pull your valve covers you can have it running and with it running you'll have your socket on here with a ratchet and you'll back it off slowly and you'll be able to hear this thing start chattering and when you hear it start chattering stop go back the other way till it stops chattering and then go additional half turn after that and now that, that uh, valve will be set a lot of people don't like doing it that way because it throws a lot of oil out on your headers and your inner fender well. It makes it makes a pretty good mess unless you build you a shield of some sort. But that's how it's done on an existing just a, a valve train noise rocker adjustment. Next I'm gonna go over is if you're trying to put a cam or another set of heads or maybe a whole top end kit on an existing motor that you have after you uh, install a new cam the odds are your push rods ain't going to be long enough and then when you change the heads too it just greatens the odds that it's probably not going to be right in our case we had that problem I'm pretty sure almost everybody has that problem when you go to change this many things you can see the difference the left side is the factory push rod and the right side is the push rod we had to have after changing everything. The way to tell if your push rods are going to be too short is where your rocker sits on the valve stem. You can kind of see here what you want is the roller of your rocker to be in the center of your valve stem. If you don't have roller rockers or roller tip rockers you have a uh, stamp steel rockers you want the mating surface the center of the mating surface 
on your rocker to be in the center of that valve stem. And that's kind of how you do that. Because uh, when you put a shorter push rod in, it won't be in the center. And uh, I'll be honest with you, ours is just a tad off. And it's going to stay that way because we had these push rods on the shelf. And we don't feel like ordering new expensive heat treated push rods when we already have some on the shelf and we're just a tad bit off. But after you figure out your push rod lengths and you got a fresh set of lifters in there, they're not pumped up. You can see the plunger moves on these. These lifters ain't pumped up yet. So the way you go about adjusting these is with your lifter all the way down in the bore where your cam's not trying to your cam lobe's not trying to push up the lifter you want it all the way down what i like to do is i like to tighten this until this push rod just starts to plunge into that lifter so i'll tighten it so you can feel the spring of that lifter kind of kicking back on you you'll see that push rod kind of go into that lifter a little bit and once i get that all i do is i go ahead and turn this a half turn some guys do three quarter the thing about valve adjustment you can have a group of 10 guys and not a single one of them will do it the same This is just the way we do it. I'm trying to explain it to where, you know, anybody can understand it. And if you have any questions, you can just ask in the comments. It's not an issue. We'll get right back with you. Try to help you figure out what you got going on. But that's basically all you do. It's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and throw this thing together. And another thing is uh, if you do put on a new set of heads, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, you want to pull these uh, rocker studs out and put you some thread sealant on these because they are drilled and tapped all the way into the intake runner and you will get a vacuum leak. So you definitely want to seal them and... I kind of hate these uh, valve guides here, these adjustable valve guides. And uh, I got talking with uh, Ford Blue Gauge, and uh, he gave me a great idea. It's something that he's been doing. The reason I hate them is because once you get them adjusted, and you go ahead and tighten this stud down for your final, final time and torque it and everything, it usually pulls these plates over just a little bit, and it starts getting into your push rod and your push rod will rub. What he suggested and what he does is uh, he said after you get it adjusted, before you go ahead and torque these down, go ahead and put you a little tack right here in between where these things slide together. If you can see that. So once you have it lined up, tag it. I thought, man, that's, that's definitely a great idea. So I'm going to steal his idea, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down while we prep all this and get it all together. And you can kind of see how we do it.
that's how we do it. That's how we do our valve adjustment. After you get it done once and you think you're good, we go ahead and just roll it over another time or two just to check everything. Make sure everything looks good. Make sure we didn't miss one. And I know there's a lot more technical way to explain this, but I was just trying to explain it the way that I know people around here understand it. People that haven't done it understand it. But on that note, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Until next time, we'll catch you later.